Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Thing ever. Just a basket of gifts. <laughs> okay. Step number one. Feels so crazy. Ooh. Got a candle. <gasps> My hair, you guys is looking gorgeous. <laughs> I feel like a rock star today. <laughs> As you saw, I opened my advent calendar. My mom has created a gift calendar for me this year. So I have one package for each day until Christmas, which is so, so nice of her. Thank you, mom. I don't know if you're watching this, but I really, really appreciate it. And Rocky also has his own calendar for the first time. So I don't, he did not know what was happening, but he probably will tomorrow or in a few days. I have just been sitting here and watching a podcast episode about the sacred feminine. Remembering the sacred feminine, that's what it's called. I'll link the, the video in the show notes if you guys want to watch it. Honestly, I love this woman so much and I haven't really listened to her podcast. Emily Fletcher, I knew that was something like it. Yeah, sound a new podcast that I want to listen to, which is great because I've literally listened to all the episodes of my other podcast that I've been listening to. Today I got work at four. I'm doing the evening shift. So I decided that today's video will be more about self-love and self-love practices and things I do to cultivate a deeper relationship with myself because we all can do that, you know? And I think especially being out of a relationship, it's so important to find back to yourself because I know for myself, like losing these parts and not doing the things that I really, really want to do to take care of myself, maybe not having time, all these things. And even if you're in a relationship, carve out some time and do these things because it's so important. It's so important to fill your own cup up first for you to be able to give without resentment or without feeling super weak and just not energized so that's the plan for today i'm gonna probably like stop filming once i get to work i'm gonna sit there and edit before i start and then but let's start with today's card i'm not gonna shuffle on camera but i will definitely show the cards and read them to you that's your little advent calendar i love that <laughs> i have pulled two cards we ended up with full moon in aquarius and then three of swords. Let's get into the reading. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. This card brings the message from the cosmos that you need to detach a little from whatever situation you're asking about. Someone might be keeping you at arm's length now, but it's no bad thing. It's important for you to allow life to unfold in progress, even if change seems like a frightening prospect. If you've been holding yourself back from showing the world the real you, this cards remind you that your unique uh, characteristics are what make you special. In a relationship, are you being too aloof or detached? Go ahead and be yourself in whatever is coming up for you. Attune to the moon. Be aware of your feelings, but also be prepared to move on. Additional meanings for this card. Don't lose the beauty and romance of life. You're too much in your head. Get into your heart. A friend needs you. Be there for them. A situation is going to take a very unexpected turn. The teaching. Every full moon is a time to release and let go, but the addition of Aquarian energy to the mix triple that message. 
Aquarius is the opposite of clingy, and pulling this card at any time suggests either you need to let go, or someone is thinking they are the one who need to let go. Perhaps of you. What needs to go? What is the right thing to do? Whatever happens next could be highly unconventional or unexpected. Three of Swords. Your heart is cracked but not broken. This is the Three of Swords. A heart pierced with a blade but not bleeding is often depicted on this card. The Three of Swords is the strength that comes from our scars, the painful past that brought us to this point and taught us lessons. Opposite forces, pain and hope, letting go and needing to sever ties exist in the cards. <laughs> What's left is a card of creation, like the Empress, who has the same number. Move forward beyond the pain by passing through it. Feel your pain. Feel everything that's coming up. As I said yesterday, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. The first thing that has been really helpful when it comes to my self-care is being outside, being in nature, really just taking time for myself and to sit with what is. And nature is such a good example of that because it just is. It goes with the seasons and it doesn't have to do anything or be anything for it to be exactly what it's supposed to be. When I lived in New York, I really realized that I missed being in nature. I missed actually being able to like breathe fresh air and take time to just pause because in nature nothing is happening except for what is there and what is what is going on with the seasons and the seasons are so slow and it's such a like you can tell when the seasons are changing and you can tell when you know it's shifting now it's winter so now it's more of a rest period and i think it's really important to also implement that into your life so having space where you're not doing all the time because we're so conditioned to always be going always have stuff going on we have to do this and we have to do that and take time to just be take time to just sit and really listen and really feel into your body what is going on like you, you'll get insights from the divine if you start actually just opening up and being being open to receive and that has helped me a lot by going into nature found a little spot in the woods and I just want to sit here a little bit in silence I know I've been wearing my headphones this whole time but there's something about just being alone in silence that is daunting at first I used to really hate being alone and sitting with my thoughts i have a very overactive mind and i know if you're watching this you might resonate with that but the more again like i talked about yesterday the more i was leaning into that uncomfortability the easier it has gotten and learning to love my overactive mind instead of wishing it to go away to drown it out and to distract myself with different things like food and tv and youtube and all these things like it has really helped me and I'm definitely not where I know I can go and know I can be but being able to sit in that discomfort even like with my feelings feelings that I have never had a safe place to express it really helps you to actually figure out what is happening with yourself and your body. So I'm gonna sit here for a little bit, enjoy my own company. I am back from my walk. Oh, 
it felt so good just to be in nature, even though it is cold. Going out, even for just 15 minutes, breathing in the fresh air, getting some sun on your face, it does so much for your health, for your energy levels, for your nervous system. Just feeling more calm, I automatically, when I came in the door, I was like, you know, I feel good, I feel good. So this day is gonna really just charge me up. And the next thing that I wanna do is meditation. I've been getting into meditating every morning. I've had a few days off, um, life happens and it's good to just have practice like even if it's five minutes or if it's 35 minutes it doesn't matter as long as you just get into the habit of just sitting down and listening and letting your thoughts just pass through you and one tip that i have for meditating you might want to listen to meditation for a lot of people it's easier to follow someone but and i thought that was me as well but i've gotten more into just being and just sitting with the thoughts that are happening in my mind and a lot of insight has come from that because i've picked up on oh wow that thing is something that i really want to do or oh that's smart or this is what's true for me and if you don't take time to listen, if you don't sit down and allow these pings or these thoughts or these these knowings to come up, they won't. Like, it'll just get drowned out by all the noise. So, yeah, I'm gonna sit here, I think, for like 30 minutes. Mm, let's do 25. I've realized more and more now, after doing this, that the main focus today is clearing out all old stagnant energy from your body and pouring in with new vibrant energy i gotta be honest <laughs> i have slept for like an hour it felt so good so freaking good i am a projector with human design, I need a lot of rest. I need a lot of time to decompress and to gain back my energy. So sleeping is a big part of that. And I used to just push through and just do whatever I was supposed to do and not really listen to my body. So while I was meditating now, I felt this like, I don't even know how to explain it, but just this like tiredness that came over my body so i decided to sleep and i'm so glad i did because i have work this evening so and for you also like self-care for you to especially going through a lot of changes being on this healing journey your body is going to be a lot more tired than it normally is you're gonna have periods where you are going through so many big changes and your body needs rest so sleep that's also a self-care practice Right now, I am going to be doing some investing in myself. I've already invested in this, but that's the next thing I want to talk about. Investing in yourself is a great self-care practice. The most important investment you have is yourself. So putting your money into things that will help you grow, that will help you elevate with guidance, it could be therapy, it could be mentorship, it could be a coach, it could be courses, and it's so freaking important. So that's what I'm doing today, or now. This is what I'm currently doing a course, it's called TBM, and we're in a manifestation challenge right now. So I'm currently doing the expander. I'm going to talk a little bit more about expanders on Monday because I'm meeting one of mine, <laughs> which is just incredible. Yeah, I'm on day 13, so I'm going to sit here and do some of this, and then I'm going to head to work. We're off to work. <sighs> Go sit there and edit this video and yeah i will say a proper goodbye when i'm there and we're at work thank you guys so so much for watching day two of vlogmas 
I hope you enjoyed. Hope you got some great tips and insights out of it. Please give this video a like because it will help me so much and get this video out to even more people. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!